Greetings and salutations. It's your boy D Boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Tarot. And um, this will be the Divine Masculine's uh, situation. So I'm going to do a head, shoulders, knees, and toes rant. And we will begin. I'm at work, so I kind of got to tone it down on everything language, presentation, all that. So um, do the head, shoulders, knees, and toes rant. Then I'm going to show you the spread and then we're going to go from there so head that swords thoughts decisions mentality ideology the direction you're going the decisions you're making cups cups are feelings and emotions all feelings and emotions are just indicators of where you're going mentally your heart and mind must be in line with everything that you do wands it's things you're doing or things you've done not things you finna do, because you ain't did it yet. What you've done has accountability and karma attached to it. What you're doing has accountability and karma attached to it. What you finna do pretty much don't matter. It's not accounted for. It. There's no karma to what you're going to do. Then you got pinnacles, which are manifestations. They're persons, places, and things. Things you can taste, touch, see, feel, and hear with your five senses. All pinnacles have temporary, all pinnacles are temporary, and they all have expiration dates, and they all have endings. We live in a third dimension, a temporary space and time, where all things expire. Pinnacles is what I'm talking about. So, let me show you the spread real fast. Top row is... Divine Masculine's subconscious or indirect energy. We've got the Knight of Cups, which is in the uh, intro, as I like to call it, kicking this reading off. Feminine Row, just the Two of Pentacles. The Masculine Row, Seven of Cups. And the Future Row, Queen of Swords. That's uh, subconscious indirect energy up top, or mystery madness, as I like to call it. Then we have the divine masculine's direct energy, four wands, coming to the situation, feminine situation, two of swords, masculine energy, king of cups, future row, eight of wands. We also got an overall energy. Which is fairly important. Bottom line energy. Which is very important. Let's give it a So. <clears throat> First card in this message. We have the Ace of Wands. This is awareness. Or being awoke. Um, in my deck. This is the Nebuchadnezzar card like the Nebuchadnezzar from the Matrix. You know, in order for you to enter this divine realm of being, you gotta wake up. From what? The Four of Cups? That's the Matrix. Third dimension, temporary space and time where all things expire. What's the real world? Four of Wands, this will be the equivalent to Zion. This is the Nebuchadnezzar. This is Zion. In order for you to get home, which is the fourth and fifth dimension, where everything is infinite, where divines be at, where God be at, where path and purpose lie. You gotta get there. Water, water wants, actions and behavior. <laughs> what you're currently doing. So, it's important to be aware of the divine masculine, and you get aware through many things. Through books. Ace of Swords will represent probably like information. Ace of Wands would be what you're doing with the information. Right? Fairly important. It's too much awareness around for you not to really get any. Your divine feminine is giving you awareness. People in your life give you awareness. Situations give you awareness. Experience create awareness for you. Bottom line, which is very important, we got you. You're very important. You're a divine masculine. Okay? The king of wands. So you will be like the king piece on a chessboard. 
The divine feminine is the queen of wands. She'll be like the queen piece on the chessboard. The divine feminine gets took in chess. The game keeps going. You get took out. Game over. What does that mean? <laughs> Awareness. It's just the beginning. <laughs> in the end, just like Neo in the Matrix, you're going to know your purpose. You're going to know your path. You're going to know you're the one. In the end. This is Neo. But before you can become Neo, you are Mr. Anderson. Okay? So, usually when you're in divine form, you're doing things that you're supposed to be doing. You've been showing up in divine form, I would say, all month. And maybe a few weeks before last month. Okay? Feminines that are cross-watching. Your mask will be on this job with you. Your mask will be on this job with other people. You're not just the enlightened divine one. Your masculine has awareness too. He has a role too. He has a job too. How does a king move in the chessboard? Left or right, up or down. He only moves one space. And usually he's moving out the way. <laughs> Feminine, you're more the you're you're like the warrior. You're the proactive one. That's why you can move the way you move. Your purpose is the three of one. Masculine purposes, it's just the two of one. And what's the two of wands? That's taking the awareness that you're giving and another one, add another one, doing something with this awareness. I help people online, spiritually, theoretically, you know. Every divine have their own powers. My masculine, what he usually does, he's more hands-on. Like I say, I, I sit in the computer and help people or on the phone, coach people. Or like my day job, you know, I'm a nurse. So I'm like a caretaker. I take care of people. You know, I'm always in service, whether that's my nine to five or this, my third one. Um, the way my masculine helps people, he goes to food kitchens, feeds the homeless or hungry. He might go to Skid Row, drop off some socks, covers, clothing. You know, he helps the needy, like in a more personal, direct way. I preach over the airwaves. I preach online. I do my thing from like here to there. My masculine, he's more like hands on with the help. And he just helps a lot of people. He's got a big heart. I got a big heart too. So masculine is always doing good. He might not be doing good stuff with you, feminines, some feminines, <laughs> but his role is just to be there. Two of wands, that's support. His role is two of wands, the step after this. It's just to be there. So if your masculine is alive, that's a good thing. <laughs> you can go out here and do whatever he does to help. You ain't the only one that helps. You're not the only one with path and purpose, feminines. The masculine got a job to do too. And usually when he's in this energy, He's doing that. Usually when masculines are in this energy also, he gets the tendency to trigger you, divine feminine. Now, if you're still getting triggered by your divine masculine, it's just a sign you got more work to do with yourself. You shouldn't be getting triggered by your masculine. You shouldn't be playing the victim with your masculine. You shouldn't be making lists of everything that he's not doing because it's a lot that he is doing and it'd be good for you, feminine, to get aware of that. Starting this reading off in the mystery, madness, or subconscious or indirect energy, masculine has the Knight of Cups. This is joy. It's the step after happiness. It's one thing to be happy. It's another thing to find what brings you joy. Usually it's something your masculine is doing. It's the king of doing things. It's something your masculine is doing currently. He's getting a lot of joy out of. You know, this is a cup. It's also knights, queens, kings, and things, which are divine realms. That's why the four of wands, Zion, four fifth dimension, is below this directly. You know. This used to be the Romeo card, as in Romeo and Juliet. And the significance of it was, you know, Romeo and Juliet's story, it was beautiful. I wouldn't call it a romance. I wouldn't call it true love. They both died. 
I told you, when the Vine Masculine dies, if Romeo dies, game over. <laughs> the point is for Romeo to live, to have children, to fall in love with Juliet, and for Romeo to grow older into a senior citizen. His name is probably Rome when he gets older. You know, cat, get down. I'm doing that. Juliet, the point is for her to get older. Her name would probably be Jules. So Romeo and Juliet should have been Rome and Jules. Telling their love story to their grandkids on how they met. And how their families didn't like each other. And how they almost lost their lives for this connection. <clears throat> Knights are juvenile energies. So this is puppy love. This is indirect, subconscious puppy love. Young love, teenage love. You know, you got to grow emotionally, which the masculine does, because in regards to himself directly, he gets to the King of Cups, which is the 1950s, 1960s dad, the tough love card, which we'll dive to in just a second. Masculine is really seeing what really brings him joy in life, and it's the stuff that he's doing, King of Wands, and he's becoming mighty aware of that. Directly coming to the situation of why masculine got the four wands. Aside from being the fourth and fifth dimension, Zion, heaven, home. Home is where the heart is. Home is the four walls you call your shelter. But this is also twin flame union, reunion, and recognition. I find it highly strange this card been coming out a lot in the divine masculine's messages. And him being in divine form is coming out a lot in most of my divine messages. A lot of masculines on their way home, whether that's to their twin, whether the masculine is heading to his hometown, whether the masculine is heading to the fourth and fifth dimension, you know, getting closer to God, getting closer to divinity, getting closer to path and purpose. Feminine, you're not the only one on path and purpose, trust me. Your masculine is on business too. A lot of stuff is finna hit home with the divine masculine, as far as his twin flame situation, as far as his home situation, as far as his divine situation. Feminine role. This deals with the divine feminine masculine. This deals with the feminines in your life. You know, mother, sister, daughter, niece, female co-workers, female friends, female boss, mentor, you can be a she, she can be a he, you know, I'll be rocking. Subconsciously, indirectly, in your mystery madness, it's a particular feminine, masculine, that you are just closer than close with. Gotta pick another card. <laughs> Whoever this feminine is, they're just okay. You know, this is Six of Pentacles is like mediocre, it's like basic. Six of Pentacles would be the equivalent of a 60%. What's that? A D. A D ain't failing, but it ain't passing either. Six of Pentacles in my deck is homeostasis. When it comes to you and a particular feminine that you're close to, or you and a particular feminine that's trying to get close to you, it's like you want to keep the distance. This is not a person you want to become one with. Okay? They're basic. Karmic, maybe. You know, they do just enough for you to keep them around. They don't go above and beyond with you. You know, it's like a it's Twilight Zone episode I was watching uh, the other night. This guy, he was like infatuated with this chick. And um, he went, basically got in touch with this. I don't know, wizard, sorcerer or something, who had love potion. Now, he sold these love potions for a dollar. Why? Because it's the most commonly bought idol. Given it's the Twilight Zone, you know what I mean? It's the 1950s, 60s or whatever, so a dollar went a long way back then. So, he spent the dollar, bought the love potion, gave it to this lady, and when she became infatuated with him, she couldn't leave him alone. She waited at his feet every time he came home, smothered him, <laughs> and he got turned off by her. So then he goes back to the wizard 
to try to get a remedy for it. Well, the remedy that he needs to get her off him cost a thousand dollars. He baited him in with his emotions. That's how you make his money. A dollar for the serum, a thousand for the cure. <laughs> and it's like the guy spent a thousand and he told him it only works one time unless you're going to have to get another serum and try again. He attempted to give her the serum. The glass broke. Um, and he basically lost a thousand dollars and ended up stuck with her basic ad. She was basic. Wasn't unspectacular about her. <laughs> if it was, he would have been able to deal with the infatuation phase that she had with him. Yeah. You don't really know what you want until you get it. Whoever this feminine is, it's like you put a lot of time, energy, and resources to keep her close. Only for you want to keep her exactly where she's at. He could be a she, she could be a he, you not be rocking. That's subconsciously and directly. Directly with this feminine, you got the two of swords. This is options, or so called options. Ace of swords, that's ascension. That's up. It's only one right way, and that's up. You got left, you got right. It's only one right way, and that's up. Any other way is a distraction. You ain't ready to go up in a relationship. You ain't ready to go up with a demo, with a person. You ain't ready to go up in your career. You ain't ready to go up with God. You know, you always got time to prepare to go up, to weigh your options, to see if this is what you really want to go up with. Given the fact that you do have options, masculine, you ain't necessarily having your cake and eating it too with this particular feminine we're talking about. And let's say this is your divine feminine, right? Keeping distance between you and your twin. Why? Probably because you had a six of pentacles, which is a 60%. You want to get to at least an eight. Two of pentacles plus six of pentacles, that's eight of pentacles. That's a life. Your life in a car, you know. It's like you're waiting. Not stalling. You're waiting. You know what I mean? To get your life situated in a way it needs to be mapped to include this particular feminine that you might want in your life in it. But let's just say it's a karmic or something, something like that. Or a feminine that you kind of don't want to move to the next stage with. To a pinnacle. This is you and the person in your face and in your space. This is a person staying with you. This is a person you dating. Well, eventually you and this person are going to have to do something. Threes are all about evolution. Twos are all about decisions. You got to scope a person out before you feel you want to build with them or elevate with them. <laughs> Only time you're going to really pull out the options card is when... Um, I got mail coming in. I'm going to have to get... The um, only time you're going to pull options out on a person is if you're still weighing them. You know, a one end, it's feminine is somebody you thought you wanted. On the other end, you see this ain't what you want. Moving on to your role masculine. You got the seven of cups. This is the pimp cup chronicles. What's the Pimp Cup Chronicles? It's the step after the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is the sauce. What's the sauce? That's your steez. That's your essence. That's your personality. That's what makes you you. Everybody is the same. But we all are different. We're the same until we differentiate ourselves from everybody else. This is a key phase when it comes to personal development, you know, emotional development, right? Give me one second. Got to pick this package up. Uno momento.
and we are back. So we're at the masculine world. Um, this deals with you, masculine, or the masculines in your life. You know, the men in your life, sons, fathers, who here or not here, brothers, uncles, who here or not here, male friends, mentors, bosses, coworkers, friends, things of that sort. This mainly deals with yourself, though. So indirectly. We got the Pimp Cup Chronicles. Now, the sauce has a lot to do with the feminine. The feminine is the sauce maker. Something about your feminine you just can't get enough of. You stuck on. And if it ain't your divine feminine, it was this feminine prior to you. I don't know. Seeing that she was just basic. It's like Eddie Murphy when he was like... <laughs> The whole cracker analogy, you just like, you know, a chick who holding out on the sex, you know what I'm saying? It's like you thinking that she's the best thing smoking. That's because she's denying you some action. And it's like when she finally throw you the, the sex, you finna eat it up. It's like a person that's been starving another person for days and they feed them a cracker. That cracker is going to be the best cracker you ever had in your life. You know what I mean? You're going to think it's Ritz when in reality, it's just saltine crackers. The only reason why you was into this person, you know, this feminine, is because she had you waiting. It's because she was spoon feeding you, baby feeding you, or going baby steps or slowly with you. Maybe you want to go forward with her and she chose for you to take it slow. Or maybe you proactively chose to uh, take it slow with this feminine. Whether it's this karmic feminine that you see that she's just a pack of regular old crackers or your divine feminine that you don't get to see that much, that you kind of yearn for the presence of your feminine. It's the cups, it's the emotions, it's the feelings you have towards the divine feminine. Some about your feminine sauce, her steeds, her personality. He could be a she, she could be a he, not how you rock it. Some about your feminine you just can't get enough of. And by you being void of your feminine, away from your feminine, you know, dealing with other feminines beside your divine feminine, you're starting to see exactly why your divine feminine, you know, is different. This is differentiation. Six of Cups, we're all the same. We're all born the same. We all have the same opportunities. We're all loved by God equally. Every human being on this planet, we're the same until we differentiate ourselves from everybody else. Masculine, you've kind of been the same. But now you're starting to differentiate yourself from everybody else. Really, by being on your divine business. See, you thought you was just a regular man, a regular masculine. You know, feminine been telling you you're more than a man. You're, you, you, you're awesome sauce. You're the shit biscuits. <laughs> and you've been thinking your feminine is looking at you in a light that you're not. You've been thinking that your feminine has been pedestaling you or just telling you things that you want to hear. Things you ain't been buying into. But subconsciously and directly, by you doing what you need to be doing, by you handling your divine business, by you getting aware and going home or uniting with your twin. Because Four of Wands is Twin Flame Union and Reunion and Recognition, which you're going to do directly. You're starting to see how you more than who you thought you were. You're finding path and purpose now. You're seeing that you weren't just put on earth for no reason starting to see that what your feminine is saying about you is true. You're starting to look at yourself in the light that your feminine been looking at you in. Like you seeing yourself through her eyes. And you like what you see? You directly, when it comes to yourself, you got the king of cups. It's the tough love card. You know, highest form of emotion you can be on. It's the emotion to say fuck it to any and everything that ain't about the kingdom. What's the kingdom? The four of wands. You ain't really been given this twin flame situation a time of day. Now you're seeing the importance of it. You ain't been home in a while. Like, you're Neo. And in the Matrix movies, where do you see Neo mainly? He's usually in the Matrix. He ain't really in the real world too much. <laughs> so, 
This is a 1950s, 1960s dad. Tough love. Don't think about a 1950s, 1960s dad. They're just logical. Yes, this is the highest form of a feeling or emotion you can be on, but it's looked at as having lack of emotions or lack of feeling. It's a 1950s, 1960s dad. He's been at work all day, fighting traffic, putting up with his boss's BS, and all he wants to do when he comes home is relax. No, he doesn't want to hear about his wife's day because she's a stay-at-home mom. She's usually probably talking to the same old friend she talks to when the kids are at school and you're at work. So whatever she got to talk to you about is probably the same old, same old. Not saying it's not important. But if it ain't important, you ain't trying to hear about it. If there isn't a dire emergency, it's like, okay, is anybody dying? Is anybody hurt? Is anything catastrophic going on? No? All right. Well, let me chip. It's like your daughter, who's a free spirit, hippie, rebel. She's trying to hit you with philosophies you don't even understand, or you ace of wands, have no awareness of. Just like your feminine been dropping jewels, and you've been kind of letting it bounce off, thinking she's just being emotional, or she's just seeking attention or something like that. You know, you've been working a lot. But at the same time, you're the man of the house. You're the king of the castle. <laughs> you do have a role in this family. You do have a role in this relationship. You do have a role in this divine demo. And not only are you aware of this role, you want to uphold it. But you got a 1950s, 1960s dad approach to it. Like, if it's not an emergency, if it ain't dire, please just leave me be. Once I rest, once I kind of get rejuvenated, we can get to this whole situation at hand. But you're only focused on the kingdom. And that's this. And that's good. Future final row. You indirectly go into the future. Subconsciously, indirectly, you're going to have the Queen of Swords. It's the Lucy Lou card in my deck. Like, you're really going to have to be ten toes down on what mental direction you want to go with union, reunion, and recognition. Ten toes down on what direction you really want to go with yourself and your path and your purpose and this awareness that you've been getting. You're going to have to be ten toes down on this whole joy thing. <laughs> you know? Ten toes down on what direction or decision are you really trying to go with your family? What direction you want to go with this basic feminine who you just really don't want to build with or elevate with or step to the next level with. You're going to have to be 10 toes down on your Pimp Cup Chronicle. Like I say, Six of Cups is the sauce. That's being all that. We're all all that. This karmic is all that. Your Divine Feminine is all that. But your Divine Feminine is all that in a bag of chips. You are all that in a bag of chips. And it's this bag of chips and it's that it's going to differentiate you, your path, no decisions, no actions from here on forward. Lucy Lou is self-explanatory. It's Lucy Lou in any action flick. She's kicking ass, taking names. She ain't one to be planned. She's not one to be taken lightly. And by going in this decision or direction and being ten toes down on it, it's going to allow and give everybody else the awareness that they need to know to get out your way. Because you focus. This is just like I said, being so firmly planted in the decision or being like very dedicated to a direction that you're going in to where people ain't got no choice but to move out your way. You're going to have to make a clear, precise cut choice. And not only like go with it, but stand on it. Final card in the message, we got the eight of wands. That's communication. Communication is 80%. Nonverbal. It ain't really what you're saying. It's what you're doing that you're communicating. And not saying something is saying something. So whatever you are saying and doing must correlate. Communication in a nutshell. This is a message. Phone call. Video message. SMS message. Bad signal. Smoke signal. Passenger pigeon. This could be a letter. Or could you just be communicating? Or 
The flip side to the communication card, this could be just venting, expressing yourself, saying what you weren't saying, or at least trying to communicate. It's like you don't have the words to say what you need to say, but just by saying it says a lot. Says a lot. So that's the message that I got. I hope I can be of good use. It's your boy D. Boone. Please stay tuned for the feminist message coming up shortly. One.